Hola everybody, welcome back to my channel. Bienvenidos a mi canal. Soy Morgan. This video is going to be in English today, but it is about Spain. I'm going to be talking about 10 Spanish culture shocks that I had while I was living in Spain for a year. This is a bilingual channel, so there will still be more videos in Spanish in the near future. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a video and give this video a like. It really helps me out. Let's get started. Number one, the first thing I noticed when I got to Spain is that no one is in a hurry. No one's in a rush to do anything, really. People there just don't really have a sense of urgency or a sense of anxiety, rather, to get stuff done. And I found this really freeing as a person who struggles with anxiety a lot. And I feel like in America, we're always driving fast, we're always walking really fast, trying to get to the next thing. But in Spain, there's pan, la tiempo, poco a poco. You'll notice that people even walk slower in Spain. I appreciated the pace of the Spanish life. The walking got to me a few times because I'm so tall and I naturally walk really fast, so that was an adjustment. But I really appreciate how Spaniards do take their time. America is very much built on convenience. Convenience and getting things done as quickly as possible. Whereas in Spain, things take a little bit more time, but it's a nice, it's a nice change of pace. Number two, PDA. Wow, um, they're not afraid to show it there. <laughs> I went to, there's a park called Veretiro, and I would go there all the time with my friends, and I saw a lot of things there. Um, people are not afraid to show affection, which I appreciate, but it's just very different. By the end of the year, I was numb to it, and it was normal to me, but I remember I went on a date with a guy I met in Madrid, and we got this bar, and people were like making out there and stuff, and I was like, is this allowed? Like, is, is this kosher? Is this okay? And he was like, oh, yeah, they're just kissing. Like, it's just very different. In the States, people might be like, hey guys, like, you know, get out of here, like, go home. Whereas in Spain, it's just very, it's very normal. People are very touchy. Number three, high volume is very normal. So people in Spain just tend to talk louder. And I remember when I was a teaching assistant, all the teachers at my school talked really loud to where you really couldn't hear yourself in a room if you weren't projecting your voice really loudly. I wasn't used to that, but it was fun to see that it was just a normal thing. It's not because people were mad, it's just the volume that they're used to talking at. Number four, physical touch is highly valued in Spain. When you greet people, you do the kisses like, hola, que tal, on their cheeks. And it's not actually on their cheeks, it's just on the side, but it's such a cute, um, such a cute greeting. And people are just very touchy in an, in an appropriate way, but it's different. Like Spanish people will stand closer to you and that takes some getting used to. I remember the teacher that I worked for, she was almost like motherly to her students. She would braid the girl's hair and, um, give them a lot of hugs, and I just thought it was really sweet. So, physical touch is a huge thing. Number five, one of my favorites, the party never ends in Spain. Oh, Spaniards go freaking hard when it comes to partying. There's always a fiesta going on. My friends and I one time decided to go to the club, and we got there at 3.45 in the morning and it was fully packed, there was still a line outside to get in, and we ended up leaving at about 7 a.m. And the streets were full of people who were partying from the night before. So I did get really tired, my circadian rhythm was absolutely destroyed after a year in Spain, but it was just so much fun to always be with people and I could walk home at like five in the morning and feel safe because there were so many people in the streets that I didn't have to worry about like walking down the street by myself. Los españoles tienen muchas ganas de bailar y fiesta. Number six, Spaniards work to live, not live to work. I loved this about Spanish culture. I would be walking around maybe at like nine at night and there would be a lot of older people just sitting out on their terraza, on their terrace, drinking wine on the work night. And I just thought that was so cool that 
you'll find that even, you know, middle-aged people will go and take like dance classes at night just because it's fun. Having fun is highly valued in Spain and there doesn't have to be an efficient purpose for everything. You can just do something because because you enjoy it. Other countries do that too, but I think it's it's more highly valued in Spain for sure. Number seven, the fences around the houses. This one really shocked me. Now I lived in the center of Madrid in an apartment, so I didn't see this until I got outside of the city to other parts of Spain. Most of the homes that I saw had fences where you couldn't even see the house. You could see the roof, basically. I think that Spaniards really love to be together, but they also value their privacy, which is a good thing. And I asked a mom one time, like, why is your fence so high? She was like, I like my privacy. Like, I like my neighbors, but I don't want them to see what I do. And I was like, okay. There's this saying in Spain, juntos pero no revueltos, meaning that we are together, but we have our individual space. I like you, but I want to be alone too. So that's something that I, I thought was very interesting. I've never seen fences like that before. Number eight, men are a bit more forward in Spain when it comes to things like dating. If you're going out with your friends, chances are a man will probably ask you to dance. I found that more, more men approach me in Spain than they do in the US. Um, if a Spanish man likes you, he's going to let you know. Obviously there's some shy people, but the majority I just found were very forward, very to the point, like, I like you, I want to take you out, I want to show you the city. Obviously they knew I was American, but I found that Spanish men also really took pride in their home, which I loved. Like, it's very fun to see someone else's home. and. They most of the times when I went on dates with Spanish guys, they'd be like, let me show you Madrid, let me show you the city, I want to take you here. And they were really proud of their home. But yes, definitely more forward. Number nine, the staring. I found that people on the metro, public transportation in general, definitely stared longer than I was used to. They'll just look at you, not because they're angry, but they just think that something's interesting. Maybe they're thinking about your hair, or the shoes that you have on, or the coat, or they're wondering what your life is like, I don't know. But staring is kind of a normal thing there. Um, it's not really considered super rude from what I found, maybe I'm wrong, but it was very common. Whereas in the United States, if you stare at someone, it's like, hey, what are you doing? Um, but in Spain, it's, it's pretty normal. Number 10, most Spaniards are really great at speaking English, but none of them think that they are. Tienen vergüenza. They all think that they're bad at English, but the majority of Spaniards that I met were really good at English, or at least knew common words and phrases, and were able to carry a conversation. Maybe some of the older folks I met only spoke Spanish, which is fine. Like Most people did know some English though, however, none of them felt confident. And that made me a little sad because they were really good at English, but they just didn't believe in themselves. Maybe someone has told them that they're not good at English. English is also highly valued in the school systems. Children are taught English from a very young age. So definitely leave me a comment if you live in Spain and you speak English. I would love to know what you think about that. If you have traveled abroad, I would love to know the culture shocks that you experience definitely in Spain, but other places too. So leave me a comment and I'd love to get that conversation going. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. Hasta luego.